Hey there, it's Maria here from Sumilof Academy of Human Integration. I'm the facilitator of the Integration Mentor Program, which you may know about already. Uh, we turn your life experience into a career to support others in a really meaningful way. So today's top tip is around having positive touch points, transformative touch points with your possible clients or your existing clients. So let's just say that you're a, uh, a mentor or a coach and you have all these transactional, these transactional touch points that you have to carry out, like you know, contacting the client for, um, for the next appointment or setting up um, a payment plan or sending your client notes or any, any one of those uh, kinds of transactional items that you have to do. Now, a lot of how you do, um, how you carry out those transactional uh, touch points, they determine your brand as a coach or a mentor. But it's not just the transactional touch points that you have within your business. You also have what's called transformational touch points. And these are touch points that you don't actually have to have, but you have them to enhance their experience. So you're only wanting to maximize their experience and transform their experience through the transactional touch points. But you also want to look at the transformational touch points. So what are the extra points of touch uh, with that client that you can, you can really put across your branding in a way that that is intended? So depending on your niche, depending, depending on your branding within that niche, uh, you may want to do uh, certain things uh, to, to really put across your message through transformational touch points. So some of the transformational touch points that we uh, do for our clients or have done in the past in different ways and different forms is that, for example, when one of our students finishes their studies and they become a mentor or a coach, they, we, we create a... Um, a um, a, a party, a launch party for them to really essentially out themselves um, in their new profession or newly chosen profession. Um, so they get to their, um, their family together, they get their friends together, they get, you know, they ask maybe them to invite their friends. And we do a little presentation for our students um, about the program, about how you know, how they did throughout the program. We do the presentation of the certificate. Uh, we also talk about the specialization of that particular person uh, in their mentoring career. So they are an integration mentor, but, but what is their specialization? Some people specialize in uh, traumatic brain injury mentoring, or some people specialize in business mentoring or Enneagram or whatever else. So we want to, we from the company offer them a, a celebration at the end of their studies where they get to really um, jumpstart their business. So they will, as I said, invite their friends, their family, people who support them, but also maybe even people that they worked as case studies that, that were their case study clients throughout their studies. And what that does is it really zooms, it brings a lot of um, a lot of value to the student because they may pick up a few clients from uh, that particular um, uh, event. They might pick up uh, contacts. They might get referrals from people who were at the event but don't want to work with with uh, the person in particular. So let's just say that you're focusing on your specialization is in brain uh, injury, dramatic brain injury management. Um, you might have a guest at the party who then thinks my partner has this and they could really use with this or my friend over there has it or my, you know, the person I went to school with or my colleague. So those are the kinds of extra touch points that I'm talking about in terms of transformation. So I'm not talking about, you know, the everyday um, administrative stuff, which also has to be on brand, of course. So if your brand is around inclusivity and communication, then your communication and inclusivity has to be uh, um, presented or represented in every piece of um, uh, a communication that you have with your client. But, but my top tip today is look at your whole cycle of your client. So when you're, when you 
you know, from attracting the client to, uh, to selecting the client, you know, is the client the right one for you to serving the, to landing the client, to serving the client, to assessing the client, if you do assessments with your clients, uh, to rewarding the client, you know, in a certain way, like if they do this uh, amount of sessions, then they get a, a discount. All of those, write down all your touch points and possible unique selling points and look at where you can bring more transformative touch points into your business. So I hope you enjoyed this particular top tip today. I hope you're having a really, uh, really um, productive, effective, um, fun day today. And if for those of you who are struggling right now, I want to say, you know, make the best out of today because um, you can start again right this second. Even if things haven't gone right in the past, you can start again and keep starting again. You got this. Keep going. I'll talk to you soon.